guys. Gem, any UK. Now, everyone at home, checking out the description, doing a pod review. Now, guys, today is a bit of a special one for me. I was given this array and some more of some, you know, decent, chilly, fresh pods here. Now, guys, kindly given to me by Pembrokeshire um, Chili Farm. Um, the Growers, Owen and Michelle Rossa. Now guys, go check them out, PembrokeshireChiliFarm.com and you will see an array of chili products. They've got jams, they've got rubs, they've got um, sauces going from mild to wild, they've got snacks, they've got a whole row, range of things. So guys, They've also got some like, dis discounted items, also some special offers. So go check them out. Now guys, just a little bit of information about them. They've been featured in, or shall I say, on the BBC, um, Radio Wales, and they also won the Business, um, business Award 2019. Excellent business. Now guys, if you wanna go and check them out, Pembrokeshire, chilifarm.com and guys one little extra piece of information when I read and I was like wow they've got 8,000 feet of polytunnel growing chilies now that is something crazy I can't I can't even fathom how much that is so guys that's got to be seen now where am I going to start now here we have we've got the Archie lemon which we are all fond of. Moving on to the orange habanero. We have the red fatale. It's monstrous. Also, we've got here the chocolate habanero. Now guys, I've put them into this order thinking that it will go from like your mild to your, your hot. I was debating on which on which one to um, place at the end, but I think the chocolate has a bit of a weird one. So it could be it could be crazy or it could be alright, but it's there at the very end. Now guys, I'm gonna start here with the Ahi lemon. Um, grown in South America, it's Peruvian. Ahi in Spanish means chili. It is a bacatum. Now guys. With these Arhis, I've realised that the Scoville units don't really suit the, the heat in the mouth. It's quite a strange one. They say it's, it's, they say it's a low one, 15,000 to around 30,000. But I'll be honest with you, lately, I think they've been creeping up to about 100,000. But here, let's go ahead and get one of these cracking. I do love this, by the way. Um, I do know that they've, they use this in many of their products. I've had, I've had this in a, um, in a, in a curd, and I thought that was delightful. Now, guys, with this, I'm expecting, as it is a back to mum, I'm expecting it to have some kind of um, citrusy element. This is, this is just reminiscent of that anyway. I'm loving that smell. Now, guys, what can I say? It is a it's a medium wall, but heading towards the thin, um, the thin end. Very clean placenta. The seeds are superb. Now let me just get that um, shown to you, everyone at home. Keep the seeds intact. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that. It's fantastic. Absolutely fresh pod here. Now guys, I'm, I am going to scrape away a few of the seeds. I don't fancy chewing on them, not necessarily just to take away the heat from the placenta, just I'm not a fan of seeds. So there we go, taking away some of those. Now guys, looking forward to this. I'm expecting hiccups straight away. Once I've controlled them, I can move down the line. But here we go everyone at home, chin chin, Archie Lemon, grown by um, Steve and Michelle. Mm. That is delightful.
Sorry, everyone. I didn't mean to say Steve, I meant to say Owen. And I apologise, everyone. <laughs> Owen. Guys, let me just go deeper into the, the taste. The, the heat is just located around the back. My tongue is slightly warm. The, the citrus elements are right smack dead there and it is delightful. Guys, this is a super pod. The freshness was unbelievable. Now guys, Owen and Michelle, you've grown these superbly. I've got to say your name in there again, by the way. But yes, the, this is so fresh. And yes, I would actually put the Scovilles around that kind of end. Um, maybe 30,000 Scovilles for that. This one was a very polite tasting um, ahi lemon. Love this indeed. What, what would I use? If I'll dry it, sprinkle it onto my salad, even cut it up in, fresh into the salad if you want, if you want it like that. This would go in anything. You could have this in something sweet and in something savoury, definitely. This is superb. Off to a winner. Now guys, moving on and stepping up to the orange habanero. Orange habanero, guys. It is a chinince. Moving on from the, the family there. The Scovilles for this is around 250,000 to around 350,000. The, the habaneros generally are quite versatile in its use. You could dry them, you could just cut them up into, again, into a salad, you can put it into a marinade, etc., etc. So guys, I'm loving this. I'm gonna go with the medium size pod here. And these are, these are really great. The integrity of the pod is superb very firm, which I like. Okay, guys, um, I will show you. This is a medium wall, um, and the, the placenta is running from the top to the very bottom. Now this surprised me somewhat. I can actually see some oils along the placenta itself. So this is gonna be slightly warm. I'm expecting the hiccups. Um, I didn't get them from the ahi, but yeah, let me just take away some of the seeds. But I am still getting that ahi burn. Now let me just smell this. Yeah, very, you get that definite chinitz. Wow, this is going to be rather warm. Hiccups. Imminent, here we go, everyone. Chin chin, orange habanero. Mm. My nose. Mm. Guys, very clean. The the flavour from the the hab is so you get that fruity notes. The heat is beginning to kick in at the moment. It is a whole mouth burn. Mm. That was, that is absolute delightful. Now guys, what, all I'm tasting is like pure freshness and that, and that clean fruity notes from that chinitz itself. Now this is glorious guys. The heat for me is a bit of a tongue burn. It's gone under the tongue. You know, people at home who know me, not a fan of the, the under the tongue burn because that's something I can't control, whereas mouth burning is all right. But yeah, guys, this hab is superb. Very well grown. What would I, I think I've already said what I'd use this for. Definitely just cut it up, marinate in some meats. You could even um, throw it into some kind of vegetable kind of dish and dry it. Guys, the heat is just ramping up for me there, right under the tongue. That is definitely the top end of um, the Scoville. Um, I would say more, more so, 
more so one 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 hundred and fifty thousand. That's just me stabbing in the dark with that one. My mouth is salivating profusely. Delightful, nevertheless. Now, I mean, two minds. I think I'll leave the chocolate to last. Now, here we have the red fatale. Now, guys, have a look at that. That is just monstrous compared to my finger. Look at that, guys. Absolute monster pod. Now, this is another chinins. Um, it was um, cultivated in a bit of history, cultivated in um, the Americas. I'm having a feeling when they say Americas, I'm thinking more South America. And then sent over to Africa, the kind of central zone, central south zone, um, to be developed. So there we have, we have the Fatali. Now guys, the Scovilles of the Fatali, is around, it's like around the, the hab end, which is 1,000, 100,000 Scovilles, all the way up to 350,000 Scovilles. Now, I'm not a fan of the yellow Fatali, so I'm hoping that this, um, the red Fatali is slightly different. I read somewhere that someone said that the red Fatali, excuse me guys, I'm salivating, has um, a strawberry kind of tone to it. Let me just say, yep, that is all that. That's my notes. So, strawberry. Let's see if we get that. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm looking at looking at this. Let me just. Wow, this is very juicy. you can see that. <clears throat> I am going to be saving seeds from here because I love the size of this pod. It is just monstrous. There aren't that many seeds in here, by the way, guys. Um, if I were to count them, one, two, three, four, five. Five seeds. Now, guys, at home, um, I would say this is a medium, a medium to thin. It is, I, I can see oils. Um, the wow, that, that smells like a fatale. Guys, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to go with a quarter, not, not through, not through not, not being able to deal with the heat. I'm not a fan of the taste. I'm hoping I'm going to get strawberry, not that smell that I'm getting, which is reminiscent of the yellow fatale. So everyone at home, there we go. Um, yellow fatale, um, yellow fatale, red fatale. It's very floral, guys. Very floral. And it, and it is so fatale-like. Be quiet, Jim. Mm. Let's hope for the strawberry. Floral. <clears throat> Not overly floral, but floral nevertheless. <clears throat> it does taste like the yellow fatale. I'm glad I only had a quarter of that. This is, it is a, it is a nice pod. I'll be honest with you, it's not as pungent as the yellow Fatale, but this one I would prefer. Could I get those strawberry, strawberry notes? No. Where's the heat? Right at the back of the throat. Definitely creeping down to the front. My lips are on fire. Yeah, the, I can, I'm looking at the pod already, guys, and it's packed full of oils and juices. This has got my saliva glands activated. Wow. This one is definitely warmer than a, than a hab. Right under the tongue. Wow. 
God, I'll breathe through this one. This is not have strength. This is this is this is definitely higher. It's got my eyes watering everyone. Imagine having the whole pod. Whoa. Oh wow. Give me a moment to just to compose. Oh wow. Well, eyes are streaming. <sighs> the attack at the, on the bottom, underneath my tongue is immense. It's left the back of the tongue and it's moving forward and it's making me cry. Oh. oh wow, hat comes off, oh whoa, oh. everyone at home, oh wow, Uh, it peaked, it stayed for a while. Oh wow, this has got the heart rate going. Uh, uh, it's got me breathing heavy. Uh, oh wow. Sinuses are emptying. Uh. Oh, the head. <laughs> uh. Guys, just to get a tissue. definitely grow that but I think I'll dry the pods God oh, guys all very fuzzy <sighs> okay onwards chocolate habanero wow some people call the chocolate habanero, the black habanero. The Scoville units are on this one, are around 400,000 Scovilles to around 577. Sorry everyone, mouth is salivating and the head is buzzing. So it's double the heat of the good old orange hab. A bit of history, didn't know this. Seeds were found of this that can go far back as 700, no, 7,000 years ago. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how creditable that piece of information is, but don't quote me on that. But guys, this is up there with the Red Savina. And I know that the Red Savina, everybody, is a bit of a fan favorite. Be it when it's dried, being told it takes on a, a different um, taste, 
But yeah, looking looking forward to this. Wow. Don't know if anyone noticed trying to elongate the time. Oh wow. Well. Okay everyone. Whew. That's taken me on a ride. That quarter. Oh wow. Alrighty. This is a medium, medium pod. Let's get that shown. Ooh. God, I've got to say this guys. This made my mind very busy. It felt like I was in a crowd full of people and it was just like noisy and busy in the head. I don't know if anyone's ever got that. But again, not many seeds in this. One, two, three, four, five, five seeds. One seed that doesn't look viable. Let's go a bit further down. Six, another two seeds which don't look too viable. Uh, whole pod, everyone. Wow, give me a moment. Ooh. Calming down, but God, guys, I'm at the level of uh, of the of the orange hab at the moment. I'm expecting it's going to go back up again. Head is still fuzzy, guys. Owen and Michelle, last pod, the chocolate habanero, the black habanero, allegedly, seeds were found 7,000 years ago. Big question mark around that. How did the hat would they know? Yeah, you could tell, but you can tell it would be a, a chili seed, but not necessarily one of these pods. Okay, everyone, there we go, chocolate hab. Hopefully, it doesn't create any issues. Everyone, Pembrokeshire Chili Farm dot com. Chinese floor. <coughs> oh wow, floral. <coughs> floral. <coughs> Guys, slightly bitter. Therefore, it's got to be a, a pod that you dry. Wow. <coughs> the bitterness can hit the gag reflex, everyone. Again, the heat tingled in the back, very full frontal. The cheeks are burning. Um, it's all, it's all around, it's all around the lip, salivating again, um, very different in um, heat profiles guys, this one is gripping and, and it's staying and it comes in waves, it's like heat, heat. under the tongue. Very different from the Fatale. Whereas the Fatale just rose. Whereas this one is just it's just coming in waves. Wave after wave of heat. Wow. Got it's got my eyes again. Under the tongue. Definitely one for drying, dehydrating. Wow, my saliva glands, guys, activated. The heat for me, I wish I had gone with the ahi lemon, orange hab, the chocolate hab. 
and straight onto the Fatale. Again. <coughs> this has got the head busy. Oh, wow. All right, everyone. I'm Ian and Michelle. Growers of this fine selection. Ahi Lemon. Orange Habanero. Wow. That's still creeping up. The red <coughs> Fatali and the chocolate hab. Pembrokeshire Chili Farm dot com. Go check them out. Chili jams, mild to wild sauces, chili snacks. I think they do a chutney. Load of offers, three for two. Fresh chilies. Oh, oh wow. Duh. Gem, any UK, go check us out. Facebook. Take care, everyone. Pod review.